Okay guys, so today we are going to look at how we can accept deposit, down payment and partial payments on your WooCommerce installation. So whichever product is it you're selling, it doesn't matter your industry, you could be selling cars, it could be furniture, it could be kitchen appliances, electronic devices, jewelry, whatever it is, basically you would like to offer your customers the option to pay a deposit and to secure the sale. So you don't want to miss out, obviously. Maybe you have only one item left. Let's say you have one piece of furniture left and it's there in the warehouse and you want to secure the sale before they come and collect it. So let's say the piece of furniture is maybe $2,000, 2,000 euros or whichever currencies you're in and you want to secure the sale by paying maybe 250 out of it. And then when they come and collect, they can pay the remainder. So very easy principle indeed. So this will allow you obviously to generate more sales, to secure sales and to uh, uh, get more customers, obviously. So for our example here, I installed a website uh, uh, that sells boats. So as you can see here, we have a few boats and obviously boats are not cheap. Uh, they're usually in the few thousands of pounds and euros. So as you can see, this one is 25,900. This one is almost 20,000. And this one is on sale. It, it was 45,000, now down to 32,000. So let's say someone is interested in that boat and they're going to click on it. And they say, oh, I do like this boat. This is really what I'm after, but hmm. 32,000 pounds, I'm not going to buy this online immediately. It's very seldom someone's going to go and click add to cart and pay the 32,000 without seeing the board and inspecting it and making sure that the engine is running fine and you have all the documentations, all the paperwork with it and all that. So in this instance, for instance, what would help you close the sale and secure the sale would be to offer a deposit. Uh, you, they could pay maybe a thousand pounds. So you minimize the risk, obviously, and your customer is happy enough to pay a thousand. It's not much compared to 32,000. And then they can come maybe during the weekend when they have free time, they might come and visit you and have a look at the board and inspect it top to bottom. So this would be a nice aspect and a nice thing to do. So how can we do this? So let's dive right into it now. And for that, we are going to install an additional plugin, which is called Deposits and Part Payments. So it clearly says exactly what it is. Uh, your customers can either pay in full or pay a deposit. So they have the choice between those two options. So as you can see, if we scroll down, now you can accept percentage or fixed amount. So you can add maybe 50% deposit or you can ask a fixed amount. So let's say your sofa here is 2,000. You can ask for 50% deposit, 20% deposit maybe, or you can ask for a fixed amount. So it could be uh, 250 or 500 out of the 2,000. So very easy indeed. And if we scroll down, you make life easy for your customers, as it says here, uh, add discounts for payment in full and automatically schedule final payment order. As you can see, it's broken down into different sections. So you have pay deposit. If this is the case, you have pay now amount and then the remaining balance. So if you were to pay on, out of the 2000, 1000 would be the deposit 50%. The remaining balance would be 1000 once you get there and go and collect the goods. So here you can see this is our uh, preview of our plugin here. And you can see you can accept deposit for all products, selected products, or the whole range of products on your website and you can select either fixed or percentage and again it is very easy to use as you will see this is perfect for non-coders and developers alike because it doesn't require any single line of coding it's all simply by using the mouse in the back end so let's go and install this plugin now and for this, we're going to go to our WordPress dashboard. So I just assume that you already have WooCommerce installed and configured and everything in place, obviously, you know. So for this, we're going to go to our plugin section and add new. And then upload plugin. And we're going to upload our plugin that we downloaded from the Plugin Republic website. So click choose file. And then select the file that we've just downloaded from that website and click open. And then install. So there you go, it's installed already. And then all we have to do now is to activate it. There you go. And as you can see here on top, we get a warning message. Um, there was a problem in activating your license. 
the license is invalid. So we have to enter our license key now. So how do we do this? How do we activate our license key? It's very simple. We go back to WooCommerce. Now we go into our settings section. And then you see we have an additional tab now that says deposit. So this is where our settings are. And then we're going to click on the license key here. License uh, tab. Click on this. And we're going to paste our license key right here. So just like that. So control V and then save. OK, so the license key, where can you find it? Basically, uh, once you are registered on the plugin Republic website and you've gone through the checkout process, you'll have a download page, obviously. And from there, you'll have the license key as well. It just copy and paste it here. So very simple indeed. So that's just done for the deactivation now. So let's go into general. And let me show you these different options here. So how do you want to accept deposit? Do you want to accept deposit? Yes or no. So maybe you want, maybe you don't want at the moment. If so, if you do, do you want to accept that on all products or throughout the whole website on all your products, on some products or only or on the entire order? So it depends really uh, di di different case scenario here, as you can see. So let's click on some products for now. So we're just going to apply this to this product, uh, this boat specifically. So we're going to select this. We're going to say some product. And how do you want to apply the deposit? What do you want to request exactly? Is it a fixed amount or a percentage? So if it's a percentage, it'd be 20% of the full amount. And this will be calculated automatically at checkout. And in our case here, we're just going to ask for 1,000 pounds. So we're just going to put fixed amount. And then we're going to save this. We're not going to put anything else because since we selected some products, now we're going to go into our product page and configure what our deposit settings are. So we go into our products now, all products. And as you can see, this is our list of our products. So where is our boat now? This is the one here, Fandango. Click on this. So this is the product you have created already. And now as you can see, this is our regular price, our sale price. And now we have an additional tab in our product section deposits so if you click on this do you want to enable deposits for this product yes and what's the deposit amount so we said about it's a thousand so we fit uh, we set that to one thousand so now if we click update there you go now if you go back to our product page as you can see this was forty five thousand down to thirty two and then all you can do was add to cart so this would have been a big stumbling block for, for anyone, you know. I don't think I don't see anyone paying 32,000 online just like that. So now if we refresh, we give them the option to pay a deposit. As you can see, pay deposit 1000. So this is a lot easier for anyone to go through the purchase process and say yes, obviously, you know. So let's add to cart. There you go. Now we can go and check our cart. And as you can see, now our visitors can only pay a thousand pounds and the la and later the remainder will be 31,000. So when they get there and go and visit you and actually they'll give you the remainder. So this is a lot easier for someone to say, OK, no problem. I'll go ahead with this. I'm going to buy this boat. I'm going to secure it and uh, I'll come and have a look later. So. This is a very easy marketing strategy for you to increase sales and get more customers. So let's go back to our settings now very quickly. Let me show you the rest of the settings. I'm going deposits. So let's say if you were to set this up for the whole website, so all your products, so you set all products and then you set percentage and then you decide what percentage. So maybe you want 25% uh, across the range for your whole website and then default payment methods so as you can see here if we go back to our product page very quickly the default payment method is selected here is pay in full now again you might want to set this up as being deposit or deposit only so if it's deposit only actually you're not going to offer a pay in full uh, amount altogether the only option available will be a deposit so this might be another option that's more suitable to your type of business and your e-commerce website so let's say we select deposit as our default uh, feature here and then apply tax scheduled order 
So again, here you can select whether to apply tax to the scheduled order or not. So it's up to you really if you want to charge taxes on top of the 1000 deposit or not, or leave it as is. It's really up to you. Now, if you wanted to add another little trick, marketing trick here to entice your visitors to actually do uh, go through the purchase, you have the pay in full and you can offer a discount immediately from here using this plugin if they wanted to pay in full. So as you can see here, enable a discount for, user who, for users who choose to pay in full. So is it so? Yes. What sort of discount will you offer? Is it a fixed amount or is it a percentage? So let's say it's a percentage and you offer 10% discount if they pay in full. So this is actually very interesting indeed, because normally most websites will be by default is paying full and that's it. But with this plugin, you can actually offer a discount if they pay in full, which is actually, actually even more enticing, isn't it? And you can have painful discount label. Well, let's say, let's put it simply, you know, enjoy 10% discount and then save changes there you go and let's go back to our website now so let's have a look at another boat maybe the c sonora here 19,900. if i click on this as you can see now we presented with two different options we have pay a deposit of 25 percent or if you pay in full you get a 10 percent discount so this is very enticing indeed so there you go, guys. This is how you can accept deposit and uh, entice your customers to actually go through the whole checkout process by paying just a small amount and then they can pay the remainder either at delivery or when they come and collect, whichever options you prefer. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or to like this video or leave a comment. None of this. No, I'm just going to ask you to please share this video with all your friends uh, to whom you think it'll be of benefit. So that's all basically. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.